Wing walking goes back to the early years of aviation. That's how pilots could pay for the airplane. You know, the thrill seekers, you know, to get out there and show people walk about the plane and holler and people would come and watch the air shows. It's done very safely. Yes. You know, I train the art of wing walking, and so you're flying between the cross wires, so there's plenty of things to hold on to. Okay. And you, uh, wing walking is like mountain climbing. It's always three points of contact. So when you're moving about the airplane, you're only moving one hand at a time. Okay. You know, and when you move your feet, when you move your feet, you move one foot at a time. You know, it's not hopping about the airplane. Okay. And you know, in 51 years, we've always done it safely. There's only 11 wing walkers in the world, and uh, I've trained five of them at the Flying Circus. This is our 51st season. It was started in 1970 by 16 airline pilots and a mechanic that bought the property, built the runways, and built the hangars. And now, through, that, through the 50 years, it's now become 80 of us. The highlight of the show is the, the wing walk act. Okay. And so, uh, you know, I get out, no ropes or tethers, and I walk about the airplane with my hands, doing it the, the real old-fashioned way, and it's a skill of wing walking. So. My name is Chuck Tippett. I'm from Bealton, Virginia, with the home of the Flying Circus Air Show. I'm Maverick Tippett, same thing as my grandfather. I've been flying my whole life. My name's Ryder Tippett, same thing as my grandfather. I've been flying my whole life. Don't stand to stop.